Hello! Welcome to the 2017 Tokyo Pen Extravaganza! Episode 1. Also happens to be night 1. I've had a really long day. I, I, I took a red eye flight uh, into Tokyo. I only got like 2 hours of sleep, but whatever. I'm, I'm young and I can take it. Or so I say. Um, Drop my stuff off at the hotel and then headed over to the Marazan bookstore where the pen show is held. Outside, people are still lining up. Uh, there were advertisements in the windows, and then on the stroke of 9.30 a.m., everyone was let in. Uh, ground floor. Um, most of it is like books, but ground floor, uh, Eurobox, Ahashito, Eboya. Basement is where the usual stationary section is, and they had they also had an area where a lot of small counters for different Japanese and Western brands were set up, like Pilot, Patham, Sailor, uh, Stipula, Pelican, Mont Blanc, Parker, Waterman, GBFC, uh, and a few others. I can't remember, but there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. I went down, and then I bought inks. A lot of inks. Mostly because I haven't been there while its regular inks have been in stock, so, so I took this opportunity to uh, pick up one of every color that I didn't have. So this means I have quite a lot of inks now. I'm also discreetly hiding what color they actually are. So everyone can be kept in suspense. I I, I really love like the, the super old packaging ones. Uh, on, on the top they're all like Athena ink. Like, that's the sort of uh, mascot they have for the bookstore. So thanks. Actual pen show uh, had some special pens. They had a blue Rushi uh, flat ended uh, pilot. They had a red aluminium uh, sailor and they had a Nakaya with a wisteria roll stop. They also had some Ashido, uh really nice bumpy layered uh, Urushi pens but those had those were out of stock even before the fair had started because it had all been pre-ordered. It was only like 10 pieces of like each colour so there was no hope for that. Um, having said that there was one pen I could afford, and it was the Pilot. Comes in a case with a jar of ink and the pen, which is a 18K size 10. Uh, fine being abroad, I went for fine, so I could actually use it. And also comes with a uh, silver colored trim, I think it's just like radium coated, whatever. Um, it, it's basically blue Urushi on metal. So that's that. Got my pen, got my inks, and I'm broke for the rest of the trip. Or at least until the next time I see see anything I want. So that's that. Uh, I also got to try out the new custom Urushi from Palette with the size 30 nib. You can see it comes in fine medium, medium, and broad uh, nib sizes. The fine and medium has the greatest variation between thin and thick lines, but the medium and broad nibs are really, really smooth. Not saying the fine medium isn't smooth, it's just the other two are much more like well lubricated. And, and they just flow and it's soft. It's like big nib softness. So that's pretty cool. What to do? Uh, what stuff? Made myself broke. Tried out some pens. I signed up for a uh, pen clinic. Uh, it, it, it's a service provided by uh, Pilot and, and a number of other brands and, and help uh, service your pens. I had a vintage uh, Pilot Sylvan with a dragon motif and, and, a, and a wonky nib that needed fixing. Um, got that fixed at my appointment time. I also got to hang out with a lot of cool people. There were some members of the Hong Kong pen community there, Taiwanese pen community, and like the local 
Tokyo Pegamity. Probably a lot of Japanese members I did know, but um, quite a few of the uh, English speaking members. It was a delight, delight to meet you again for the first time. Uh, special hello to Daniel. It was nice to meet you. Uh, I hope to meet you again soon, like next year when <laughs> this tradition will continue. Uh, I had a very nice lunch with the, the, this group of people. And we had some uh, tonkatsu, tonkatsu don, pork, deep fried pork cutlet. So, show, food, pet appointment, more show stuff. <laughs> uh, I went for a walk with uh, some of my, my, my friends who were there. We visited the LV Boutique. It's the main one in Ginza, which is like the center of Tokyo. And it's special because A, uh, it's the only one with pens in the entire city. Uh, they have a lot of high-end pens, particularly with, with like the leather-bound metal. Metal. Um, they, they also had their line of inks, of which one was like a, a Ginza special edition. They're out of stock. I couldn't get it, but I got to see the samples. Yeah, they were they, they, they were like twelve plus one. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, I also got to see uh, a Carandash boutique uh, with fountain pens inside, but 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 the. The, the store display was so cute. It, it was pens and food, but then when you look closer, it wasn't actually food. It, it was um, a lot of like cotton wool masquerading as food and snacks, and that, that's super cute. Um, at night, some members of the Taiwan and the Hong Kong community went out for dinner together. Um, and we had some really nice eel. I think it's grilled, grilled eel. Unagi don. Um, there's a place in the Daimaru near Tokyo Station on like 12th floor where where all the uh, a, a lot of those department stores have like like food only restaurant levels. And, and there's a really nice place, 12th floor of Daimaru next to uh, Tokyo Station. It's the eel place. Really good. And we spent the rest of the evening talking more pens. They even took a look at my 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 my, my very pitiful everyday collection. Um, but they're all super high level collectors. But I, I, I'm, I'm glad even my small collection uh, can be appreciated. Like if you ever thought. How could you possibly talk about pens the entire day? It's entirely possible. I just spent the entire day, talk, entire day talking about pens. It was awesome. It continues tomorrow. But until then, uh, that, that's pretty much all. I'm tired. A long day. I hope you hope you enjoy this. And see you again soon. That's in the episode one. Inks. Inks. So many inks. <laughs>